Okay, so what's the big deal, Roger? Well, here's the big deal. In 2013, Fermilab, Don Lincoln reported on this fixed particle and this little glowy particle that they could see in the reactors but had no clue about them. It said, in summary, the extended particles have a fixed size, the black one. They may have a fuzzy edge, which they do. The point-like particles, which is the white red one he shows, are mathematical abstractions with zero size, but they have an extended field effect surrounding them. These are the two particles, the black one and the white one. The black one's fixed, never changes. Well, we found exactly that. We find, pr found precisely what they were looking for, and they saw at CERN and Fermilab, the black one and the white glowy one here. It was exactly identical. Now, two of them back to get back and to back is a photon, and that is a photon. These are photons. Now, that's the same as this picture, only this one shows the energy va values, and that one just shows it, what it looks like as it's coming through. Now, but they're the same particle. Okay, so this is light. That's what they're looking for. They call this a muon. They call this an electron neutrino. And here they are right here. That's what I'm saying. Here's the muon neutrino. And there's the electron neutrino, which there, there was a black one and a white one. The fixed particle and the one that showers. When they are attached together, they are light. All right? And they are just matter. Matter is made from these two particles, a black and a white, together like this, is an electron, all right? Two of them back to back is like two little bar magnets. The black we've never seen before, that's the dark matter. That's where all the weight exists. Just like Don Lincoln said, he says that this one's an abstract. It's just almost no value. He says it's zero mass or zero size, I don't know. It's, there's an energy value here, a ton of energy. This one's just a bombarder. Bam! It comes through, never changes, never changes. This one glows and sparks and, and gets shrinky and fluffy and everything else. All right, so what did we accomplish? Well, we split those particles. All right, and there they are right there. They're split right there at the venturi, and then they reattach back here. And then they push like hell through there. I mean, there is just a mass of explosive energetic value, as you can see. And I say we have exceeded the speed of light. So if we could harness this somehow, what could we get? Well, we might be able to get free energy. Because they say it's literally thousands of times more energy when you can create cosmic rays, which this is nothing more than cosmic rays. Right here, this is cosmic energy. This is the same exact particles they're looking for that are coming through our atmosphere. Cosmic radiation, muons. You see it, muon? That's what cosmic radiation is. That's that black ball, is the muons. Now, I think they might have it a little bit backwards. I think the most energy is here in the electron shower. The muon is just a bombarder. It's, I mean, it's a slammer, no question about that, but this is a burner. Two separate, like one of them is cold and just hard, and one of them is hot and soft. Very strange reaction. However, what can we do with this energy? Well, maybe we could get free energy. What if we could break it here, and before it came back together, we could grab all that energy? Of course, I think we can do that. All right, because this is what's pushing. The black particles are pushing the white ones. Here, the blacks say, get out, you can't go through, Just get back. And the white ones squirt through. That's a division, that's a fission. And before they fuse back together, let's use them and let them fuse later. Let's use and then fuse. <laughs> okay, maybe SpaceX wants to get in on this, Elon Musk. What if we could put this squirting out the back faster than the speed of light? You could see it accelerated from the speed of light, so maybe we could go faster than the speed of light for free. Maybe Elon be interested in that. I'm perfectly willing to discuss it. Okay, this is August 14th, and at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to have a Zoom meeting, and we'll discuss this. And I would like to have some physicists and people from these uh, laboratories to engage in this. I think I've shown some pretty good evidence to support my side of it, and I can show much, much, much more.